Persons with disability face a number of challenges, including lack of access to finance their businesses. But it is obvious that disability is not inability. Persons with disability sum up to 5% of the nation's population. President Nana Adodankwa Kufado is committed to building an inclusive society where every Ghanaian has a role to play. We are here this evening to give you a step ahead in life. And I know that we are going to monitor you and make sure that whatever monies you receive this evening, you are going to put into good use and will help you to carry on. Mr. President, it takes a caring government to identify the needs of disabled people. And more importantly, it takes a visionary leader like you to design schemes to support disabled persons. We will continue to be inspired and motivated and emulated by your desire to include everyone in your, in your business and in the development agenda. So that by the end of the day, we are not only creating an entrepreneurial nation, we are creating wealth for our people. I thank the creative, hard-working Minister for Business Development, Ibrahim Awal Mohammed, for the brilliance <laughs> for the brilliance of this intervention. The Presidential Empowerment for Women Entrepreneurs with Disability. The period of stay of my government in office has seen us make strenuous efforts to bring women into the political and economic decision-making process, not only in the country, but also on the continent. Thus far, we have thrown our full weight behind the He for She campaign and the Gender and Development Initiative for Africa, GADIA, which stems from my position as the African Union's gender champion. Today, we commence another program, the Presidential Empowerment for Women Entrepreneurs with Disability, which will help focus the attention of the nation on the need to empower our women entrepreneurs with disability. The Presidential Empowerment Program is not only a fulfillment of an MPP manifesto pledge to support women entrepreneurs and help improve the livelihoods of the disabled, but also to help realize goals number five, eight, and 10 of the 2030 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Having set a fund target of four million CDs over the next two years to support disabled women in business, the Ministry of Business and Development has so far raised two million CDs of the amount the 1,000 beneficiaries will not be required to pay any interest on the amounts they are going to receive. They will only pay back 50% of the principal advanced to them. This gesture is part of my government's support to our disabled women entrepreneurs to help them scale up their businesses and employ more people. We anticipate that with the monies being given to them today, they will and should be able to employ at least two persons each. To the leadership of the Ghana Federation of Disability Organizations, I believe it is fair to state in conclusion that if there has been any government that has been on the side of persons with disability, it is my government. Amongst others, we have increased the share of the District Assembly's Common Fund 
to persons with disabilities from 2 to 3 percent. And we have also ensured the implementation of our pledge of employing 50 percent of the persons who manage the country's tables from amongst persons with disabilities. I assure the Ghanaian people that my government will continue to implement policies and programs aimed at building a fair and inclusive society which creates equal opportunities for all. My confidence in the sheer energy and can-do spirit of the Ghanaian makes me believe that in you, our women entrepreneurs, the future of the Ghanaian private sector is extremely promising. May God bless us all.